not counting the playoffs, the last two weeks of European qualifiers are upon us and I think this is time to again set the baseline since there have already been updatings in the FIFA rating, ELO rating um, and so on. So it's worth taking a look at those and um, that we can judge the performance of the last two uh, weeks. So here we go. Um, this is how the table uh, sorted by qualification probabilities looks like at the moment and we have again in uh, bold those numbers are statistically certainties um, meaning that uh, a one shows that this um, team has reached for sure that stage and a zero is that it's impossible for them. Statistically, mathematically it might still be possible but statistically it's uh, not possible or you get the drift. So we have uh, six teams that are statistically qual qualified, five of which are already mathematically qualified as well, with the only exception Portugal. Uh, then there are in the top 24 a few flip-flops, uh, slight changes. Uh, as we will see, Germany was actually a big benefactor of a change in ratings. Uh, we have Spain uh, dropping a little bit, and here those four, Northern Ireland, Switzerland gain spots, Italy, Romania lose spots, Albania and Poland are flip-flopping. Uh, same thing here, Hungary, Norway, uh, Benefit, Denmark, they have a great week. And probably the most significant change in the top 24 is that Slovenia is out, Ukraine is in, and Ireland is on its heel. Heels, as we can see, the prior qualification probabilities here, it's uh, relatively close between those uh, three nations. Uh, also, as we can see, we have 19 nations that are above 90% chance of qualifying. So for those nations, it looks really good. I would say from here on Hungary and below, we probably those nations are likely to be in, but uh, there's still a chance that they might not qualify. But I would say Poland uh, onwards, those nations are for sure at the European Championships in France. Uh, if we go further, I would say I would probably cap it that uh, the field of hopefuls goes from Hungary up until Bosnia, uh, Scotland. It looks dire for them if they really uh, missed a lot, of, missed a big chance uh, in the last two games, especially the loss to Georgia. And then we have a whole a huge list of teams already not. Uh, I don't want to say disqualified, but with no chance of qualifying, they are sorted here in alphabetical order. Those are all the eliminated teams uh, for Euro 2016. Now, to gauge the changes, here are the differences, and we can see that Albania and they are again sorted by qualification pro 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 probability. We can see that Albania had the biggest change in the qualification pro probability, followed by Ukraine and Ireland, which we already saw moved up. Hungary and Russia also benefited from a change in ratings, Norway and Northern Ireland, Poland to a lesser extent. And then the surprise entry of this list is the Netherlands, whose rating actually dropped, but not enough. Uh, so they're actually doing well and I think that they had now a change in rating is also due that I um, compute the book rating not as the current odds but as the odds adjusted by all the events that took place to really get um, the strength, the actual strength because of course at the moment the Netherlands have not a high um, uh, odds of winning it all uh, because they had a whole series of unfortunate events meaning losses uh, while if you take those out, their rating might still be very high and this is exactly what happened. So while the FIFA rating and all the other rating and the ELO rating dropped, SPR rating rough also dropped a little bit, the book rating actually increased and that's why we see an increase in the Dutch here for the qualification probabilities, but then later on it goes a little bit lower. Then we have many teams where there's hardly any change, at least in qualification properties, but we can already see that uh, Germany here has a lot of green and uh, those are massive changes uh, for reaching the final, semi-final and being first, a uh, change of plus 12% uh, in this case. So uh, Germany really, really benefited from uh, improved ratings. Uh, here Austria, Portugal, England, very minor changes uh, overall. Let's scroll down to the losers. 
and we already see some red here for France, this is due to Germany, uh, increasing that much. Iceland and Wales a little bit surprisingly, not for qualification because the, those teams are more or less qualified, but um, for the next rounds, uh, Spain is slightly winning here. And then we have Croatia uh, as the first real loser, and here this is very big red. Uh, Croatia will probably qualify still uh, they have a strong squad although the uh, situation looks a little bit more uh, precarious than it was uh, a month ago or so but uh, the team has lost quite in rating and this shows in the latter stages uh, Croatia was more or less a shoe in and then we go to the big losers uh, I think it starts here probably with Romania uh, again uh, yes uh, they were all but convincing probably still qualify so uh, it's not as big here but then for the latter stages it matters Slovenia and also and then Sweden, Bosnia, um, Scotland and Denmark and latter two are the real big losers with Scotland even lost big on reaching the playoffs which Denmark has um, secured uh, already and then uh, Denmark is the overall big loser because their uh, chances of qualifying really dropped a lot by not winning against Albania and having a string of uh, disappointing draws, not scoring a goal but also not giving up a goal. That's it, how it's looking for now. Uh, I'll update again uh, when the games are happening. I'm not sure if I will make two posts or just uh, one big post at the end of uh, the qual qualifiers. It might be we'll see about that. Uh, I also want to post uh, quite a few jerseys from uh, national teams playing the European qualifiers to fill up that grid a little bit more because I have them collected, I just, just didn't have the time uh, to uh, make videos or write some, something about them. As you can, as you heard in the previous video, my family situation is quite lively. So uh, I'm trying to hang in there and hopefully uh, we'll get some more uh, stuff done on the video front and then last but not least I've been talking a lot since even before my daughter was born that um, there was the World Cup draw and I have still not analyzed it I still haven't made a video I analyzed it slightly but it needs to be stuff done but I think this will happen uh, after the European qualifiers when things are a little bit more settled okay hope you enjoyed this video uh, and hope you will enjoy the next ones I'll, I'll talk to you soon and enjoy the games. Bye.